Hey guys, this is Gilbert here and this is the first video in a short series of videos that I'm going to be doing just a, as an introduction to um, Grunt and how to get up and running with Grunt. And if you don't know what Grunt is, Grunt is a, a JavaScript task runner. But all that means is that um, Grunt is a, um, is a command that we can use just to run loads of different tasks, um, which can be especially helpful if you want to um, improve your development workflow and if you have lots of repetitive tasks that you run like um, minifying JavaScript files or compiling SAS files or even testing or optimizing images there's loads of different plugins you can use with Grunt um, and Grunt is just the, the, the workhorse it's what we use to run all of these different tasks that we're going to define later so it really is a big time saver when it comes to your development workflow and especially if you're a front-end developer these days with all the tooling that goes on, Grunt or or, a, or another package like Gulp is fairly essential to know. As a prerequisite to this uh, tutorial series, we're going to just assume that you have Node installed in your system and that you know how to use Node and NPM to install packages. Um, obviously, we'll be installing Grunt as a as a package using NPM, and we'll also be installing our, our Grunt plugins as NPM packages as well. So. Hopefully you've already got Node installed. If I'm not going to go through it in this tutorial, but just to say that you can install it via the Node website and uh, make sure you've got npm installed as well. So, uh, so yeah, let's let's get running. Um, this is my sample project that I've got here. Um, this literally is just an empty project, not much in it at the moment. A SAS file that we want to compile later on. But just now, all I want you to notice is the package.json file, and it's got the, your kind of default information in here. And we've got this dev dependencies um, object, and this is where we're going to store store all of the Grunt packages that we need to install, inclu including Grunt itself, so that um, if we share this project with another team member, they can just run npm install, and all the packages will be installed automatically. So I'm just going to head over now and install Grunt. Um, just before I do that, it's probably worth just checking that um, I do have Node installed and that I do have npm installed, which I do, and you can see those versions there. So um, let's go ahead and install Grunt. So it's a simple case of npm install Grunt, and we're just going to give it a save dev flag so that it installs to this dev dependencies object in the package.json file. So let's go ahead and run that and let it install. And that's us. So if we head back over to our project, you can see in our package.json file that Grunt is now listed in the dev dependencies and um, that this node modules folder has been installed with Grunt inside it. Um, so that's great. So that, that's Grunt basically installed in our project. The only thing that we need to do um, after this is to make sure that Grunt, the, the Grunt CLI is actually installed in our system because although we have Grunt installed in our project, we're not actually going to be able to run any Grunt tasks without the CLI. So we're just going to go to the, the Getting Started page and make sure that we have um, Grunt CLI installed by running this command. Um, and I'm just going to run it as sudo because on OS X you need to do that apparently. And we're also going to run it with this G flag. This G flag here just means that it's a global install. So we're going to install it globally as a global package and that means you can run, you only need to install the CLI once and run it on as many packages as you need to um, later on. So we're just going to let grunt install and, and that's us. Grunt CLI is installed. Grunt's installed in our um, in our uh, project, and if I just list um, the files here, you can see that We've got our package JSON, but we don't yet have a Grunt file. So if I run Grunt, it's going to moan about the fact that we don't have a Grunt file. And so in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at setting up a Grunt file, actually defining some Grunt tasks, and actually doing some work.